Hey, what is going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech. And if you just so happen to have an old S9 or happen to stumble across one for cheap or maybe in a garage sale or whatever, you can run these things uh, a little bit more efficient, efficient. As some of my viewers were asking, we don't have to run all three of these hash boards. And if you're running all three hash boards at full tilt, 1800 watts, overclock with a custom firmware, you're not gonna be very efficient. So to make it as efficient as possible, we can go down to just one board or two boards, which Crypto Mikel is able to do successfully. Now the power output needs to be adjusted and we can disconnect things at the physical connection. So if we disabled or took off this ribbon cable and this ribbon cable, left only the middle board online, we could do that. Not on the stock firmware, but we could do that. With Brains OS firmware, we can also do that inside the software itself. We don't have to disconnect the physical connections, but we know that if we leave things plugged in, whether they're being used or not, that does create a power draw. So to run as efficiently as possible, because we're already on Brains OS, uh, the firmware itself, we can just disconnect these three six pins on the outside boards, leave the control board powered on, and then run off of this middle board and set the power target as if it was running all three hash boards. So around 950 watts, but because we're only running one, it's gonna run around 315-ish watts, maybe a little bit more. And that would be the most efficient way that we could run a single S9 hash board. But the best setup from what I've seen and heard from my colleague, Crypto Mikel, is two hash boards sitting around 650 watts. And some people have multiple of these with only two boards. So let's switch over to Brains OS and I'll show you the software aspect and what we could get this thing to. All right, so here we are on the dashboard. The machine automatically picked up right away, even though I unplugged the physical uh, boards. Um, you can see the one hash board right here under the ID number seven is around 2.5 tera hash, uh, but it's sitting around 232 watts. Um, and the first thing you wanna do if you did unplug the physical connections inside Brains OS is go to configuration and then performance. And you wanna leave auto tuning on to try to figure out where's the best uh, you know, spot because it's gonna go through each chip on that board. But you wanna adjust the power target. In this case, uh, Crypto Mikel recommended 950. And again, that's set if it had all three hash boards. So should, it, should be somewhere around 316-ish watts per board, maybe a little bit more than that uh, for the one board we have. And we wanna scroll down and we actually wanna disable these. Right now, the only board that's enabled is number seven, uh, but these were both checked when I initially booted up, even though they were physically unplugged. So just uncheck these, hit save, and then it's gonna tell you that it won't apply to changes until I restart the miner up here. Restart uh, Brains OS miner to apply to configuration. You just go to quick actions and then hit restart. Uh, but the no changes really needed. I can just go ahead and dismiss this. We really want this thing to auto tune, which is doing right now, uh, and see what is the best efficiency it's gonna get for just one board. Uh, paying attention to the power draw, I would check it at the wall as well instead of just software. And you can see that it's a lot quieter because the fans aren't going full tilt with all three boards. So that's another perk or benefit. Uh, but this is basically running close to what I'm getting with the Apollo BTC miners, those small miners. Uh, but at a significantly, probably about 100, almost 70 to 80 watts more than what I am on the Apollo BTC miners. However, this is an alternative. So I'll check in with you once this thing settles down to see where the efficiency is hash per watt. All right, so the, it took about two, almost three hours for this thing to auto-tune, but it finally settled down. Now the chip temperature is around 89 degrees Celsius. It settled around 4.1 terahash or 4.14, doing about 88 watts per terahash because the power draw is around 366 watts or a little bit more than what I was expecting. Um, the chips or the board itself is around 291, but adding the fan, uh, the control board and other items this is where one board on the S9 will settle down to. But now let's see what happens when we use two hash boards instead of one.
Now, with two hash boards, we're sitting around 8.32 terahash, but our efficiencies drop down to around 78, almost 79 watts per terahash. We're using around 650 watts, or 660 thereabouts, with the overall power set at that same 950. Now, we did allow it to tune, and the cool thing is that stable profile, after letting it tune on one board, was able to stick and it actually applied that same profile. Now that it has went through the entire chipset or all the various ASIC chips on this one board, it will keep that profile. It's one of the things I love about Brains OS. Now that it's st stabilized and tuned the second board, it will also keep it. So when I add the third board, it will go through the third board, all of its chips, and find the best performance for that last board. And if I unplug these two and go to that one board, I can just let that one hash away and find its stable setting. But the point of this video was to find a way to make this S9 more efficient. You can do that and make less noise by dropping it down to either two hash boards or one hash board. Matter of fact, let's go take a look at the miner now so you can hear the noise output the fan is only around 55%, so 3,700 RPM. But on one, we were around 2,100 RPM, and the fan percentage was around 30 to 28%. So reducing the noise, reducing the annoyance of the power supply fans, which can be a little bit more annoying than the ASICs themselves, and improving the overall efficiency. Now, if I add the third board in, and I run at full tilt with it tuned, the efficiency is gonna be a little bit higher, but not that much higher, maybe more like 86 instead of 80 watts per terahash. But still, 8.2 terahash, compare that against some of the other devices uh, available like the Apollo uh, miner, BTC miner, and, and the USB miners from uh, Gecko Science, and you make your own decision. And here we are about four feet away from the device, and if we move to six feet, most of the sound you're hearing right now is not actually coming from this ASIC. It's coming from the power supply that's powering my Apollo BTC miners and the Doge miners as well. So running on two hash boards will reduce the annoyance of the noise or the output, the dBs. This fan won't run as hard and importantly the power supply fan is not running as hard making it a little bit better on maybe your environment or overall situation but do what's best for you and your setup considering the thermals and the environmental conditions you have to deal with but that's going to do it for today's video please do me a favor on the way out hit the like button make sure to get subscribed hit the notification bell to stay up to date as well as check out some of the links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here and i'll catch you in the next one take care